My name's Michael and um, I'm here to show you our uh, Papa pumps that uh, I installed uh, 18 months ago. Um, so um, let's see how these pumps are doing. So the water comes in behind these pumps from two sources. That's a uh, spring-fed source, and that one over there is from the uh, tributary. As you can see, there's the inlet, and there's the overflow. And that's discharging. Out there, back into the stream. Here is the uh, spring thread uh, chamber. Now the spring water comes up from below, so we sighted these uh, concrete rings over the top of the spring, and it has managed to uh, give us about uh, 1.2 meters to the top of this um, lid here. There's the overflow, and that too comes out there and back into the river. Here's one of the three troughs that we installed which serves the uh, grazing cattle during the uh, um, summer months. But uh, there are two other troughs, one of them about 800 metres away, another one um, 400 metres away. And um, this provides water from both the spring and the tributary uh, water all the time. Keeps them topped up and uh, free water. Uh, when this line is on, this being the uh, one of the higher troughs, we um, have to have an overflow on the highest tank uh, because the pumps need to keep pumping and um, any excess water goes down this lower pipe and back into the stream. So uh, in terms of abstraction, we're only abstracting what the, what the cattle drink. Okay, so back to these pumps. They're working well, they're working together. They're producing about the same amount of exhaust, which means they're pretty much in tune because they're linked up initially to um, the same source and exiting on the same pipe going up to the farm. So this is the uh, picture of the uh, pump that we've got in the chamber there. We've got two of those and uh, this is produced by a chap in uh, Cornwall and Papa Pumps and um, as opposed to mechanical valves they have um, like a latex rubber washer internally to um, produce the uh, valve motions and so effectively there's not a great deal to wear out unlike the hinged valves where they're uh, forever wearing away brass on brass but these uh, rubber diaphragm type um, units work very well. Here I am at trough number three all the troughs incidentally are turned off because it's too wet for the cattle to graze so uh, we're waiting until the spring and the ground dries up. So that pipe now is being diverted and taking the water all the way up over to the top of that hill. This will be trenched in in the spring when the ground dries out and uh, it's been pumping um, about two litres a minute uh, so when you bear in mind the head it's got to push up, which is 60, 65 metres, and the length of this black pipe, which is about uh, 550 metres, it's a hell of an ass for these pumps to do. But it's still achieving it, and uh, that's giving us about uh, 2,800 litres plus per 24 hours. Right, I'm at the top of the hill, and this is where the pipe terminates for the moment. And here's the outlet. So that's one litre and that's um, about 20-25 seconds for a litre. So there we have it and we're going to be putting it into a tank, 5,000 litre tank, to use as gravity. So that's the end of my video. Hope you've enjoyed it from Sunny Burwash in Sussex.